Hello guys, uh, today let's talk about uh, moving load in robot structure analysis. So I have a structure here and I want to uh, put the moving load along uh, this beam. So I have uh, one case, this is the uh, safe weight of this structure. So I'm going to create a, a moving load. You can go to loads, special loads and moving. And first you need to uh, create a new moving load. So you can use the uh, Ashto database. We have uh, many uh, vehicle name, but uh, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to click new here and we change this to VH1. Okay. And in this case, I will use the concentrated force and let's say 100 kilo newton. And for X, it's the offset along the X direction. For example, if I uh, type to matter, this will uh, chain uh, two meter from the origin point. So we uh, chain to zero again. And S is the spacing, uh, spacing of the load. So in this case, the spacing out this uh, the the longitudinal beam is five meter. So I'm going to click on five. Now put the five meter here. And for the vehicle limits, uh, B is the vehicle width. Uh, it's automatically uh, input five because we have the spacing five meter here. But if you want more, you can change to, let's say uh, seven. So the vehicle width will change like in the drawing here. I, will put, I put the five meter back. And D1, D2 is the uh, extension of the vehicle. Uh, let's put this to show the uh, vehicle here. So in, in this case, I will not use this number. So I we'll put zero again. So next, you can uh, click on add here and the moving load is created. And for this one, you can also uh, use this. It's a little different from symmetric uh, vehicles on low type here. So uh, for example, you put the number here 10, the load will uh, uh, put here is following the X direction and also for the Y direction. There is another load here, as you can see in the drawing. And if you want to put the uh, gravity load, you can put in the FC here. And for X and Y, uh, column here is the extension following the X and Y uh, direction, respectively. So, uh, and for the vehicle COVID is the same, and you can create this force uh, or moving load also. Now I'm going to close this and Next is you uh, can check the case here. We have number and name. For number here, you can import uh, any number you want, but uh, in this case, I will put uh, following the number here. So I have one, one look here. And I will put this two, and the name here will be three, VH1. And for the root, uh, you need to define it. So you click on define and we choose line here. And you need to click on the center point of uh, this beam because uh, we have a moving load spacing five meter from each other. So you need to select the center point here and here. And you can, uh, sorry. I need to delete this. So we have uh, our uh, 
load direction here next is uh, the step so you want more step you can put the smaller value for example let's say uh, 0.5 and this is the load direction so in the case here I put the positive value so this direction needs to be a uh, negative because of the load uh, is the gravity load uh, following the gravity load direction now everything is complete I can click apply here sorry I think uh, this one is not so I'm going to look at the number here is 14 so I'm going to put 14 and apply again okay so now the load is uh, input to the structure so you can check the load here and you can turn on the uh, moving load so let uh, select all this and okay next I'm going to run so this is the value of the moving load we have the uh, maximum value and uh, minimum values first I'm going to show you the case component so this is the end of the uh, beam but you can uh, check the uh, another component this is the first component and one more thing is you can uh, create the animation so you start from 1 to uh, the total of the component is 49 so you can uh, put the 49 here now I'm going to start so this is how the moving load uh, move from each other and one more thing is you can uh, show the deformation also so I'm going to uh, click on the formation and okay we have so now I'm going to uh, run the animation so this is how the beam deform one more thing is uh, you want this convenient to uh, I mean uh, you want to extract the case from the convenient you can create a case uh, click on the create case from company in here so now we have uh, for 49 load case more as you can see this is uh, uh, company number one number two so I'm going to run the analysis again and you can see the deformation so this is the start point there's no deformation because the load is on the support next is the number two three four so this is uh, uh, how the beam deform you can also create a uh, uh, animation Sorry, I think uh, it's on here. So this is the animation. Okay, so this is how you uh, create a moving load in robot structure analysis. So I hope you get the idea, and thank you for watching. I see you guys in the next video.